Live in Miami, Robin Simmons, 7 News 19. Now on the 19th, they're used, they're used in the war on terror, but a spy in the sky like this may soon be watching you. They're called drones, basically unmanned planes equipped with cameras. And a police department in our area bought one. The 19th is Charles Belay, live for us at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters with what this is all about, Charles. Hi, everybody. Get ready to meet the T-Hawk. It is drone technology that is being used, very similar to what is being used over in Iraq and Afghanistan in the war on terror. And technology can be very exciting for just about any police department. However, with technology comes concerns about privacy. And tonight, those concerns have been raised. Like something out of the future, surveillance drones look ominous and stealthy. Used for years in Iraq and Afghanistan, one is coming to Miami-Dade County to assist in Miami-Dade Police's special response team operations. Acquired from Honeywell, the 20-pound drone can fly for 40 minutes, reach heights of 10,500 feet, and cruise at 46 miles per hour. It gives us a good opportunity to have an eye up there, not a surveilling eye, not a spying eye, Let's make the distinction, a surveilling eye to help us do the things we need to do, honestly, to keep people safe. But that word spy has some concern, especially the ACLU, which approves of the drones but wants strict regulations. Technology, there's no reason not to embrace technology if it makes the streets safer, if it helps the police. The concern is, though, that every new technology also has within it the capacity to threaten pri people's privacy. Terrorism expert Douglas K. Haas believes the drones are a valuable new crime-fighting weapon in many respects, not just in police work. This has limit, unlimited capabilities, and it not only is it good tactically for a SWAT call-out or a, uh, any tactical situation, there's a, a numerous search and rescue applications for it after a hurricane, they could send one of these up fast and assess damage. But then there is the issue of financial prudence. Should Miami-Dade police be spending this kind of money, especially since the department has made a lot of cuts? Nothing happens quickly in the purchasing process, and that's something that really was in place, the funds for that, a couple years ago. Okay, although 7 News cannot confirm this tonight, the purchase of this drone may have been made possible through a federal grant. And if that's the case, it would defer the cost for the police department. We're trying to nail that down for you. And the other thing is, Miami-Dade Police still has to get one, get through one more hoop. Honeywell has already applied to the FAA to get clearance to fly this thing in urban areas. It has never been allowed. And if it does become a reality, Miami-Dade Police will be the first police agency in our country to use this new technology. We'll keep you posted. Live tonight in Doral, I'm Charles Belay, 7 News 19.